Hi, this is Sonia in Condi Systems Tech Support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to resize images in Photoshop. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to size my image so it will fit on a 12 by 6 license plate. In order to get started, to size my image, I'm going to go up to the toolbar and click on Image and come down to Image Size so I can see exactly what size my image is so far. I'll click down here so we can see the measurements. Okay, my image so far is 12.53 by 22.098, which is way too big for my license plate. And then my resolution is 200 dpi. I'm going to leave the resample box unchecked because I'm going to change my resolution. I'm going to bring it down to 200 dpi. That way it doesn't take so long for my printer to print. So in order to do that, I click on resolution and highlight it. And I'm going to type in 200. And if you'll see, as I'm changing my resolution, it changes the physical size of my image. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll click on OK. All right, and then we'll go back to image and image size again. So this time my image is 24.86 by 14.1 with a resolution of 200 dpi. All right, now I want to keep the resolution at 200 dpi, so I'm going to check the resample box. That way when I check the resample box, when I start changing the size of my image, it will keep my resolution intact. So I'm going to start down here with the height, and it should be 6 inches. You see, I type in 6 inches, and the 24 didn't change, so I made a mistake. So what I need to do is I'm going to back out of that and I'm going to click on Cancel and I'm going to come back to Image and Image Size and in order my size to stay in proportion you see it's 24.86 by 14 by 1 in order to keep my height in proportion with my width I'm going to come down here I'm going to click up here down make sure I got resolution 200 dpi and I'm going to check on constrain proportions and that way whenever I start changing the size of my image when I change my height to 6 you'll see that my width is changes also but we also see that my width is not long enough for my license plate so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up here to my width up here and I'm going to go type in 12 and you see when I type in 12, my height changes also. And it changes to 6.086, which is OK. So I'm going to click on OK. But let's say I just wanted to get my image exactly, no doubt about it, the exact same size I need to print out for my image. That way I don't waste any ink. So what I can do is I can come up here to my rectangle tool and click on it. And then go up to the toolbar up here and click on fixed aspect ratio for the style and what this will do is that when I take my rectangle tool across my image it's only going to capture 12 by 6 or whatever measurements I type into the screen up here what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, I've already got mine up here but I've typed in 12.125 by 6.125 to allow for my bleed area so let's go here and I'm going to need to crop my image so I have exactly what I need. So what I can do, I'm going to go ahead and let's zoom in on bluegrass cat. Okay, so if I take my mouse up here to the upper extreme left hand side and drag it across down to the bottom, see the little marching ants as we go down, it stops exactly at 12.125 by 6.125. I really don't like that because I want to see some of the dirt because it looks like bluegrass cat's heels or feet are chopped off, or hooves are chopped off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on outside of the marching ants and I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to just go a little bit below where I was because I want to make sure I get my steeples in but I want to get uh, bluegrass cat's hooves on the dirt and I keep and drag my mouse from the lower upper left to the bottom right hand side and there you go. So I took off a little bit at the top and I took off a little bit at the bottom and then I can simply go up to my toolbar and go to edit and copy okay then go to file and new and just say okay 
and then I'm going to click on my pointer tool, go to edit and paste and there's my image. So let's go see if my size is exactly what I want. Oh, when I imported it in, copied it in, it didn't come in, but I can come in here and I can go to 12.125 and it's close enough it comes into 6.123 which that's good enough. Okay, and then I click on OK. Now I'm ready to print. So again, this is Sonia in Condi Systems Tech Support. I was trying to show you how to size your images in Photoshop. And if I can be of assistance, please don't help hesitate to call. Happy printing.